Well, you look at the numbers, this certainly has been a fantastic rookie campaign for him, but it's a matter of finishing the season, finishing the season healthy. Ground ball off Ashcraft's glove, rolls to Lopez, a 1-4-3 beginning. 2-2. Two -two. Grounded right side, the shift is on. Lopez makes the play. I think he's pumped to be back. Graham Ashcraft touches 108 times in the first inning. Corbin Burns try and pick things up after what has been a somewhat of a subpar September. 3-2. Got him looking. Dotted that cutter right on the outside corner at the knees. One up, one down. Took eight pitches to do it, but Burns strikes out Friedel. Check swing. Jordan Baker said he went around. Narvaez applies the tag. That's two straight strikeouts to open up the ball game. So a man on for Stuart Fairchild, who had two more hits in a walk last night. That is Rockfield left side, base hit. Farmer up to second. A single for Fairchild. And now two are on for Alejo Lopez. As a left-handed hitter, decent number of teams do look to shift him. That is throw, base hit. Same sign is on. Renfro in mid-right. Throw is offline. Farmer scores. Fairchild to third. Lopez with the two-out ribby. One-nothing Reds. Stringing them together. Great bet for Kyle Farmer. Working the walk, and then Stewie steps up with the base at the left field, and Alejo doing what he does. And the delivery, and it's a ground ball through the right side. It's going to get under the glove of Lopez and trickle into right field. Renfro will stop at second, but now back-to-back -back singles. About that. O2 is on the ground, chance for two. Farmer has it, flips to second, Lopez to first, double nice. play. Quickly turned at second base by Lopez. That cutter is established, and he's got weapons to put him away. Fly ball, center field, long run, Tyrone Taylor, and he will run it down and bang into the wall. What a play from Tyrone Taylor. Takes an extra base hit away from Reynolds. And now you just hope he's okay. He hit that wall pretty firmly. A great jump. Watch this first step. Just runs it down and runs into the wall. This is a great catch because as an outfielder, you can feel that wall coming. And if you are hesitant at all, you will alligator arm that baseball. And he does not. Hopefully he's all right. Looks like he is. For Omar, the 0-2 is hit in the air towards that shift, but over the head of the second baseman, Lopez, and it falls in right center. That's a base hit. Narvaez on a two-strike pitch. Everything else he's throwing about 100 miles an hour. Reynolds hits the bag, flipped down a second. They need the tag. Short of the bag, and the tag there from Lopez. Narvaez tried to stutter step but pause and Lopez still got him double play on the force tag 3 4. Uh -huh. Renfro now gets an opportunity. He hit a laser to right. Swinging a blast. Deep left field. Brewers are going to have the lead. Ho oh, ho. Second deck shot for Hunter Renfro. That is number 26 on the season. What a big swing right here by Hunter Renfro. Just a hanging slider. We talked about in the first at bat, he's at his best when he's shooting the fastball to the opposite field into the middle of the field, and that allows him to stay back on the off speed on this hanging slider right here. We've seen him do this a lot against the Cincinnati Reds. And now McCutcheon blisters one into the gap in right center field. Extra bases for Andrew McCutcheon. He's cruising into second base. Two out double for Kutch. Ooh, that one got him. Just did clip the jersey of Luis Arias, and he is going to be aboard. That is the 101st batter hit by this Reds pitching staff. Well, Narvaez put a good swing on one his first time up. Swing a ground ball through the left side base hit. They're going to send McCutcheon. Here comes the throw towards the plate, and it is late. Andrew McCutcheon scores from second. It's a three-run fourth inning for the Brewers. Nice at, nice at bat here by Omar Narvaez battling some tough pitches. Now Tyrone Taylor with an opportunity. See, so he was just getting ready at second base. Now one line down the right field line. That's a base hit. Urias is going to come in and score. Going from first to third is Narvaez. Tyrone Taylor with a run scoring single. Put another quarter in it. The Brewers have a base runner ahead of Hunter Renfro. Singled in the second and then in the fourth inning gave the Brewers the lead. And now Renfro hits one in the air to left. Backing up, warning track at the wall, and that one goes! Second and as many at-bats for Hunter Renfro. 
Twenty seven home runs on the season now. Brewers have a six one lead. It was only question was that it was it going to carry enough to get out. And I think the wind just helped push that one out of here. What a good swing by Hunter Renfro on this fastball at the top of the zone. Payoff. Ground ball hit to short. Backhand play by Adamas. Throw to first, and the pick is good from Rowdy Telez. Three up, three down inning for Corbin Burns again. He's through six strong. Brewers have a five run lead in Cincinnati. Willie Adamas coming to the plate. He's 0 for 3 today. Last half inning, there goes Yelich in a swing and a bouncer. It's a fair ball down the third base line. It hits off a steer. Yelich is going to try and score. He will. It's an RBI double for Willie Adamas. I was just about to mention that screamer that he hit to left field yesterday with the bases loaded. And Telez towards right center off the end of the bat a bit. There's Aquino to make the catch. Tagging and now stopping Adamas in no man's land. He's going to get hit in the back and it works out for Willie Adamas. He made a bad decision look OK because it worked out. And now Hunter Renfro two home runs for him today and a ground ball hit. And past Kyle Farmer. Another run batted in for Hunter Renfro. He's got five, and it's eight to one. Four hits for Hunter Renfro. And a swing and a line drive base hit right center field. They're going to try and send Renfro. The ball is bobbled by Aquino, and that will allow Wong to get to third. It's a three run seventh inning. Rios joins the hit parade. It's a big finale to the fireworks that are furiously exploding beyond the third base seats. Hard ground ball throw, base hit. Fairchild scores. Aquino rips through second. He slides into third. The Reds get a second run. Matt Reynolds, an RBI base knock. Now Corbin Burns' day is going to be done. Six and a third innings for him. A couple of runs on four hits. There's a ground ball. Should be two. Wong to Adamas and over to Les. And the ground ball that Rodgers needed, he got it. Huge. That ball did come up on Wong a little bit. Yeah, he got caught in between on whether to flip it with the bare hand, and at the end of the day, he just went to the glove flip. It was the easiest move. David Bell had Raver Santa Martin warming, but he likes to save his talented lefty. I think a smart move. And he's going to have Alejo Lopez take the mound again. Rowdy Telez sends one out to deep right field, and it is gone. Rowdy Telez with home run number 33. It comes off of Alejo Lopez, but it counts all the same. 10 to Milwaukee on the blast by Telez. Position player throwing BP heaters. And Brent Suter is going to try and put the finishing touches on this one here in his hometown. Strike away from doing it. And a swing and a miss. That does it. Brewers have won four in a row and they've taken the first three games of this series in Cincinnati can go for the sweep tomorrow afternoon. Pat Chase is presented by Roman the official men's digital health clinic of Major League Baseball.